Hey everybody, it's John, and I'm here to bring you a little tech tip from StreamingTeacher.com. Today I want to talk about the quick C-plane utility, which is the fast and easy way to create C-planes in Mastercam. Let's take this part as an example. Let's say I wanted to look straight down at this face so I could see if there's any draft or taper in this bore. It would be pretty difficult for me to just try to get this in line to actually see that correctly, and I don't have a plane associated with this. Now instead of creating a whole plane to do that, I can create a quick C-plane. And then I can use the G-view utility to match that C-plane so I can see down it. To create a quick C-plane, I go to my Planes Manager, I open up the drop-down, and I click Quick C-plane. Then choose the face. Now I can go to my G-view column and click the G-view, and it's going to align me with that plane exactly. Now I can see exactly onto this face and I can tell if there's any draft going on or anything like that. This is also really useful if I just needed to create some quick geometry right on this plane. If I needed to say create a rectangle or something on this face, I can now align it perfectly to this face instead of trying to guess or realign it using the transform tool or something like that. Now the method we just used is not the most efficient method for creating a quick C plane. The faster way is to add it to our right-click menu or keyboard shortcuts. To do that, I can right-click in the ribbon and select Customize the Ribbon. Go to our Context menu. In the category, I'll choose Planes. And at the bottom of this list, I'll find Quick C Plane. You can add this to your right-click menu and adjust it wherever you want to. I've put mine at the top. You can also add the GView equals C plane utility, which is helpful because it lets you snap right into position. To find that one, in the category, go to Graphics View, and towards the bottom of the list, you'll find GView equals C plane. You can also add Quick Plane as a keyboard shortcut. Go to the Customize Ribbon tab and choose Keyboard Shortcuts. The Quick C plane utility is easiest to find by going to All Commands. Then in the Commands column, Select anywhere and then click Q, and that will bring you right to Quick C Plane. You can add in a new shortcut key here. I recommend using Control Q because it's not already taken by anything else. I've already set mine to Control Q. Once you've set that, hit Assign, and then hit OK. Now I have this on my right click menu here, so I can Quick C Plane anywhere I need to. Or I can use Control Q and select another face, and that will move me there. Notice this is also moving me between G views. That's because my G view is already set to my quick C plane. So if I move my quick C plane, the graphics view moves with it. Control Q, this face, and now it will adjust itself. You can also use quick C plane to create easy section views. Let's say I wanted to create a section view based on this face here. Right click, quick C plane, and select my face. Now I can't actually turn on my section on a quick C plane because it's not a fully defined plane, but I can turn this into a fully defined plane by right clicking and duplicating. Now just rename this whatever you like and this will work as a section view as well. So quick C plane is very useful for getting quick views or quick construction planes for creating geometry anywhere you like. But remember, this tool isn't really used to create planes for toolpaths or anything like that because it's not remembering the origin or the rotation of that C plane. As soon as you move it, it's gone. These are temporary planes. If you like this video, then hit like and subscribe, then come over to streamingteacher.com for more great advanced Mastercam training content.